Freaky Low. Hell yeah. Yeah. Young Freaky oh, Low. Yeah. 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 Where you at though? Where it is? Where my dirty bitch is oh, at? Yeah. Uh huh. You dirty, you're nasty. You dirty, you're nasty. You dirty, so nasty, you're nasty. Uh. Dirty, nasty, yeah. free. Hey. Walk up on these chicks or with her brother. I said, fuck that shit. I don't care if she with her mother. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Caught her lacking real quick. Like, what's up? Let me get the number real quick. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yo, what up, cuh? Yo, what up, cuh, Hamid Ali? Yo, what's up, chick? You wanna get this number real quick? Try to take you back. Suck on your oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. knick knack, patty whack. Throw a cripple bone. You know what it is. All up in your shit. Hit me up on my phone. You better hit me on my digits. Oh, don't fuck yeah, it up. Yeah. I don't wanna see you not fucking answer my phone call when I hit you up. See you around 10, bitch. Dirty, nasty, freaky, naughty, dirty, nasty, freaky, bitch. Dirty, nasty, freaky, naughty. Freaking oh, yeah, out. yeah. Uh, Dirty, you're nasty. You're dirty, you're nasty. You're dirty, you're nasty. Dirty, nasty, freak. You're dirty, you're nasty. You're dirty, you're nasty. You're dirty, you're nasty. Freak. You're dirty, you're nasty. You're dirty, you're nasty. Freak. You're dirty, you're nasty. Yeah. Dirty, nasty, freak. Yeah. Yeah, I roll up one time or two times, three times to a bitch of mine. Pop it, 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 yeah, that's what the thing is. I need a freak in the sheets. Freak in the sheets real quick tonight. Trying to fuck her to some old school R&B beats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, what yeah. kind of nipples you got? You got them round ones, them big ones that take up a lot of real estate or what's up, cuz? Big nipple girl, oh. big nips. Big nips. There he goes. Big nips. Yeah. Yeah. You already know what time it is. Got my pants low and my dick hanging low too as well. What's up, cuz? Dirty. Dirty. I'm nasty. Nasty. I'm dirty. I'm nasty. Nasty. I'm dirty. I'm nasty. You know what it is. Dirty, Uh. nasty bitch. You're dirty. You're nasty. You're dirty. You're nasty. You're dirty. You're nasty. Dirty, nasty girl. You're dirty. You're nasty. You're dirty. You're dirty, you're nasty, dirty, nasty freak, dirty, nasty freak, bitch. Get up on your knees and shit. Get real down and lick the balls. Balls, bitch. Don't forget to suck that dick. Don't forget baby that. Girl, baby girl, do your thing. Your thing. Peek my penis like a chicken wing. chicken wing. Eat my booty like a chicken wing. Goddamn. Damn. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh. Keep real. Keep it nice, keep it freaky, keep it dirty, keep it nasty. You dirty free, you dirty, dirty, nasty free. You dirty, dirty, she's nasty, nasty, she's dirty, you nasty, nasty. You dirty, you nasty, dirty, nasty, dirty, nasty free. Yeah, dirty, dirty, you nasty, nasty, dirty, dirty, you nasty, freaky, you dirty, you nasty. Yeah. Dirty, uh, nasty, uh, freak. Yeah. You're dirty, dirty, you're nasty. nasty. You're dirty, freak. you're nasty. Yeah. You're dirty, you're uh, nasty. Yeah. Dirty, nasty, you freak. Know what it is. Yeah. yeah, you know what it is. I'm feeling a little flirty. Let's go chill and hang out and watch oh, a movie about oh, yeah, fucking. Yeah. You already know what it is. My boy's feeling freaky, feeling nasty. Feeling that's why freaky, I want all my nasty, girls out there. Yeah. You know what it is. Feeling freaky, dirty, nasty, yeah. I'm feeling flirty, and feeling that's all rolling thirties, bitch. That's all rolling thirty, Chris. Skip, skip, skip. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dirty. I'm nasty. I'm freaky. I'm raunchy. <laughs> That was like borderline. That was like a hood operatic, like yeah, West yeah, Coast, yeah. West Coast opera. I was like, yeah, like how can we make this like really like Nate Dogish? It's very proper, like dirty. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm dirty, I'm nasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make it super proper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with like proper pronunciation. You were using like a Broadway voice almost. Yeah, yo, yeah, Broadway yeah. mixed with West Coast is kind of a fire fun. idea, bro. They did a fucking Dr. Dre musical. Yeah, with oh. like, but like, and like, oh damn, like, and someone just does Nate Dogg's parts on so- certain songs, but That'd it's Broadway. So- oh my god, it was like smoke weed every, every day. day. The thing is, is Broadway is more of an East Coast thing, right? So it's East Coast meets West Coast, but you can. 
It doesn't matter. West Coast was a movement. You could bring that over to the East Coast as a Broadway play. Yeah, well, they made, like, Straight Outta Compton the movie. What about Straight Outta Compton the music? Yeah, that would be fucking sick. That would be sick type, man. That would be so fucking sick. That would be sick. If you just have fucking the Chronic 2000. Chronic 2001? Or, wait, what is the, uh, like, uh, just hearing, like, your favorites? Like, things ain't just the same for gangsters. Just things ain't just the same for gangsters. Which Times is you know, changing. Little people are aging. So, Eminem wrote that song. Yeah, dude. But like, what about the N words though? Probably wrote the N words. No, I don't think he did. Yeah, th- he what? probably wrote like blank. Nah, he wrote the N words. You think they let him just said write that? Yeah, N-words? yeah. They were probably like write that shit white N. Yeah, and he was like, I got you. Well, because imagine the real version is just like bros want to be like, you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Right? Everything was just bros in in like parentheses. Like, little, <laughs> little bros are changing. or like insert N word here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be fun. I would love to see it because th- that was back then. It was before phones and stuff, so he literally physically had to write it down. It was – hip-hop was so fucking goddamn different back then. Jesus oh Christ. Oh, my God, dude. Hip-hop is so bad now. Why does Jared have this? I don't know. It, it's kind of, That's kind of the creepiest fucking back scratcher I've ever seen. Yeah, th- you know what this looks like? The the goosebumps with, the like, the monkey paw? Yeah. Right? It's like a monkey paw that would, like yeah. – that would like uh, you make a wish and like the finger would go down. Yeah, it does. It has like that's what I'm saying. It looks like a fucking tail from the. It looks like it could be like a, a cursed back scratcher. Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to put this on my back because like it'll help me become like a uh, like an asshole. A like ba- I'll be a successful asshole if I use this. I'll get everything I want, but it will turn me into a horrible person. You look like it, this. Looks like yeah. If you made a horror movie about this, it would be on like Tubi. Yeah, it would be on Tubi. This is fucking weird. Usually back scratchers are like that one thing that's just connected. This is like a weird little like. You want to know what it's it like is? Like weird little man hand. <laughs> you want to know? You want to so know what fun. it is? You want to know what? It, you want to know what it is? It's the thumb. It it's is. the thumb of this that's scaring us. Yeah, that's weird. It's the thumb, and then it's like a shoehorn at the bottom. Imagine putting this underneath like a little door. Oh, that'd be yeah. And you come home, yeah, and it's just sticking outside of the door. <laughs> You want to know you, what's weird? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What were you gonna say? No, no, no. I was just gonna say, do you even celebrate? Do we like? Do you even celebrate Halloween anymore? Yeah, dude. I watch scary movies every day of October, dude. I watch. I go down fucking. What 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 do people go down? Wormholes. That's what it is. Yeah, is it Wor- wormhole? I don't think so. Rabbit hole. <laughs> Rabbit hole. Let's go, baby. We're back, <laughs> dude. dude. If you were going down r- wormholes, the government would be calling you. Like, yo, how'd yeah. you find this out? Yeah, it's like, how'd you find our back scratcher? <laughs> if, if you were going down wormholes, fucking Einstein's theory would have been proven. <laughs> yeah, right. You would have yeah. fucking changed the world. <laughs> yo, I would have been <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? How are you not fucking incredibly rich right now, dude? All October, I go down wormholes. <laughs> <laughs> I <was> like, I, <laughs> And when you said that, I was like, damn, son, you figured out fucking, like, the unknown physics of the world? Yeah, fucking molecular scientist. <laughs> yeah, you're shit. like, I, got, I went down a wormhole. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy's a genius. <laughs> damn, he's a fucking NASA genius. Dude, when I was uh, when I was on the plane, when I was on the plane, uh, you know, when you're on a plane for, like, eight hours, we'll get into my trip and my shows and everything. Um, before we do that. Have I ever sh- showed you these shoes? I bought these for Jared. Yeah, you did, yeah. They're Biggie Smalls Ready to Die Feelless. They're so fucking cool. Yeah, they're fucking mad cool. Yeah, mad I remember cool. this is, yeah, that was the episode he came back. You gave him shoes and me shoes. Oh, yeah, I gave you guys both shoes. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, let I'm trying to stay on topic here. We go. This yeah, is the plain, one thing, plain stuff. This is the one thing with stand-up. It has taught me to stay on topic. Over yeah. the last year, trying. Right. You're doing a terrible job so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's this fucking black hand, dude. <laughs> dude, it's so cursed looking. Yeah, it is cursed. It's, it's decrepit. It's like, oh, you got 50 dollars. You want to know what it looks like? It looks like the Baba Duke's hand. Yeah, it's very, it's scaring me. I've yeah. never seen a back scratcher like that. It looks like, like a little, like, burnt man's hand. I know. Like, if somebody brought this out, like, in yeah. the street, I'd be like, hey, man, I don't want any problems. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this guy's going to put a spell on me. It just looks very like, oh, you want me to scratch your back for you, boy? <laughs> yeah, right. It's very fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. That's a scary. That's it's a monkey paw. That thing. If 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 you make a wish right now, it'll probably come true. Yeah, this is very voodoo looking. Yeah. I wish. I wish. Um. I wish I sell out all my stand-up shows, especially the one in New York City, Gramercy Theater, eleven eleven, three p.m. matinee show, after party as well. Uh, all links to all my shows 
Um, get the tickets, get the tickets. Get the tickets, get the tickets. Also, I'll be in Albany the next night, 11-12. I will be in Albany, New York. Um, and then I will be in California from the 15th to the 19th. Brea, and we're, try, we're trying we're trying to get Levin Danny up in, in West Jose. Westchester County, so I don't have a fucking panic attack every time I try to go. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to do Terrytown Music Hall. Here's the problem with Terrytown Music Hall. Uh, also, Syracuse, November 26th. Um, it holds a lot of people, and I'm not famous enough yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. I'm well, nasty. I'm freaky. Well, don't you have to fucking sell out half of it in order to have a show there or just Pretty have much. to sell out yeah no i could i could do it and not or sell if you it don't out. sell out is a venue like <laughs> never fucking not getting this guy to come back here it's a fucking loser that could be like that that could be like that but thankfully i've sold well everywhere i've gone so people are like come back and i'm like oh awesome great so you know i, I have a good enough following but like i have uh how was that how was that plane yeah how was that plane ride and all that stuff going there. So and being in the fucking well, you can't say UK for Ireland. They get pissed. Well, I was well. The Northern Ireland is the UK, right? So that's okay. where I was. I was in Belfast. I was in Northern Ireland, and then I went to the Republic of Ireland. I went to uh, Dublin for a couple days. Dublin, um, but uh, yeah, no, the flights are okay. You want to know the hard thing about me for flying is is I don't have any issue with flying. That my issue is. Getting to the airport and then getting to wherever I'm going after the airport. The flight is like the least thing I'm worried about because it's on time most of the time. Knock on fucking wood. But my heart, the hardest part for me is getting there to the airport and then getting from the airport home. I hate that shit. But when I was sitting uh, on the plane, um, I do this thing on planes. So I'm just going to go out and say it. If you've ever met me on a plane and didn't know who I was, I lied to you 100%. Because just because I sit this close to you on the plane doesn't mean I have to really tell you what my life's about. I'm down what with What the hell was that? I'm down with I don't know. I was trying to like fucking swallow spit and like Bro. wasn't going to, it was like it was like going around my tongue and it wouldn't like just swallow. I thought something happened. I thought I was about to die. Claw. Yeah, it was yeah, just black yeah, claw. Yeah, yeah. I pointed at you. Uh, and you, just, uh, you just started going. Uh, I don't see a problem with lying to people. I guess like it, I lie in I lie in Ubers too. I, I tell people I'm a doctor and shit. I love lying to people. Yeah, because who gives a airplane. fuck? Because who gives a fuck? There's no value there. You don't have to tell them who who you are if you don't want to. But here's the reason why I lie on airplanes. Here's the big we uh, reason. <laughs> here's <laughs> the, the big reason I lie to people on the airplane. This is the big reason why I lie to people on airplanes. Okay, it's because I don't want to get close enough to you. Where, like, you ask me for my phone number or, like, my email address. Because, like, just because we, like, sat next to each other on a... F it's not like we went to the gulag and fucking survived, like, a horrible, horrible fucking thing together. Yeah. We're just on a plane, you know? And it's like, I don't want to tell you the ins and outs of my story. And then every time I brought up, I'm like, yeah, I'm married. Someone's like, oh, let me see a picture of your wife. And then it's like... What picture of my wife am I gonna show? Yeah, like, do we gotta? Do we have to fucking really do this? Yeah, she's like, I, well, I have to see the wedding. Like, it was an older woman, and I was like, fuck, man. Now I've learned my lesson. I'm lying on every airplane that I ever get on because I think lying on an airplane is perfectly acceptable. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, it, every time I've been on an airplane, I'm like, all right, this guy either doesn't want to talk to me, great, saves me fucking the stress. Or they do want to talk, and it winds up they're just really cool, and then it's a, a cool conversation. Every yeah. time I've been on a plane, I've either not said anything to the people next to me, and I've gotten very lucky with that, or I've had a great conversation with somebody. Like, the first guy I ever met on my first plane ride, his name was Mike, and he had, like, the same birthday. It was fucking crazy. Well, but yeah, and he, like, got me weird, wine man. and shit, and I was like, all right, this is a cool first plane ride. Yeah. And uh, What's the longest flight you've ever been on? Seven hours. Seven hours. Where was that? To Cali, but it Cali? was like uh, the the way there. Uh, it was fucking slow. And then I and then it was five hours coming back. Yeah. So it wasn't really. Is that it bad. seven hours? It's still a flight to L.A. It was it's like still seven. A, it was like seven. I don't know if he was like going. I don't know. It was fucking crazy. I maybe it's just because of I don't know, but maybe it's because of the airport that day. I don't know, but it was like it, <coughs> it felt like seven hours. Well, the and thing then the ride back was like five. Well, the thing, the thing about long flights is, the reason I ask is because you have to become kind of a team. When you're on a long flight and it's three people there, like, you got to become kind of a team. Because what if I got to go pee-pee poops? Also, I think, uh, well, I'm guessing you know? counting it because I had a layover, too. That's mm -hmm. why. So that, that counts. But you got to be a team. You got to be a team on planes, dude. Layovers suck, though, because it's like, oh, my God, we went up. 
we're oh, what a fucking great feeling we did it and then you go back down and you're like cool i landed and they're like nope we're going back up and you're like fuck i gotta do this twice today when selena and i flew to greece she was like i'm gonna fly into london i was like i'm flying into greece yeah you know she was like uh, uh we had to fly on different flights um because i just waited too long to book my flight um but any hooser i was like there's no way I'm flying into London and then getting on a plane and then flying to another country. I'm flying to the country that I have to fly to. You know what I mean? Like if I ever go to like Japan, I don't know if there's straight shots to Japan. I'm doing a straight shot. Like I'm not stopping in fucking Turkey or some shit. Yeah. I just feel like it's like, uh, I don't know. I do like flying and all that. If for me, it's just the being cramped up. Then you're in the sky cramped up with people you don't want to fucking be near. And I just get like, it's not even anxiety. It's just, I just like, I just hate, it's, it's anxiety mixed with, I fucking just hate this situation so fucking much. Yeah. No, I mean, but it, you it are, it, used to. it is worth it though at the end, right? Because you're going somewhere where you're going to be like probably in paradise and having a good time. So it uh, is. I wasn't in paradise. I'll tell you that in right Greece, now. You know, oh, Greece was paradise. Right. London was not paradise. London. So. Yeah, how's the food there, too? So, all right, so Selena gets on me for, like, you know, spending a little too much, like, on, like, rooms and stuff. And I get that. So I was like, you know what? She's right. I, I, you know, I could spend less. So I tried to be frugal. Um, this place was the worst fucking hotel I've ever been to in my fucking life. I've never wanted to die more than when I was in this room late at night. Oh One, God. because it was haunted. I'm 100% it was haunted. Um, Selena would go, w was there one night. Selena was there one night and was like, I, she, she looked me in the face. She goes, I can't believe you did this to me. And I was like, what? She was like, I can't believe you put me in this room. This room is fucking disgusting. And I was like, yeah, it is really. Yeah. Bad. But who chose it? Did you choose it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Where was it? Were you like in the fucking, were, like, why was it such a shit place? Were you, was in, like, it, the nah, was, uh, were you in like the hood of fucking England or nah, something? Nah, dude, or? I was in the royal borough of Chelsea and Kens Kensington and Chelsea. I was in a royal borough. Is everything else just expensive? It was really expensive. Like, um, basically, like those two shows, I made no money. Yeah. I made no money on those shows because you're traveling because you're traveling and you, uh, you know, they didn't cover my room. They didn't cover these things. So I, I made zero dollars. Just so funny. I, lo I lost money. I lost money headlining a theater. It's a cool experience. Though. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was. That's but, how people. But it's so thing. funny. The fact that you're just getting up one day and you're like, all right, I got to go and entertain a bunch of fucking Irish people. Like, oh, that's man. so weird to Bro, think about. <laughs> they were so cool, man. Yeah. Everybody there overseas. I don't know what it is about stand up over there, but they're just great. They appreciate it more yeah they're not snobs yeah it was it was a lot of fun it was just a lot of fun it was just the the whole the vibe from the beginning is was awesome then America like i went out with like fans after yeah i hate calling them fans so weird well, yeah. imposter syndrome but they're fans yeah. but like you know i went out with fans after went to like a bar one like uh went and played blackjack and won at the casino and stuff and like it was a lot of fun and you know it was just a really cool experience it was it was worth it was worth going over there and doing that because it it really opened my eyes to like the reach that I could have on people in the world and like not take it in a weird sense. What'd you eat there? What was like the what was like the meal of the fucking mo the the whole trip for you? Uh, a lot of Indian food in London. I ate a lot of Indian food. I had a couple of English breakfasts, which is this like fucking slop. Yeah. But like good slop, like slop I like to eat, you know, like potatoes and fucking eggs and and sausage and fucking, you fucking, know, uh, fucking fish and chips, fucking fish and chips. Uh, but yeah, a lot of that had fish and chips over there. I really ate like shit. Uh, I ate like shit. So I did a show on the. Tent. Yeah, but it's different shit than America shit. Well, that's what I was going to say is I had McDonald's over there and I literally felt like I ate McDonald's from like. A, a very like green cafe right like everything they're like they don't have preservatives over there like they have like very minimal preservatives yeah everything here is like fucking sugar kiss and fucking oh. syrup powder and fucking weird shit like that bro that stays they, with you for like nine years they had like 15 like grilled chicken options yeah over here it's like grilled chicken you can't get it after midnight no it's like uh, why do they do that too at McDonald's? I don't understand it. Why can't I get a fucking chicken sandwich after twelve? Whatever. Like a fucking gizmo from fucking uh, 
gizmo from the fucking gremlins. Yeah, no, it's also just weird. It's like, why are you, is this like, this is like a household thing. This is what you do in like your house when you wake up. Like, I get it. You're cooking with sausages and eggs and you want it to fit the breakfast theme, but you know, you got all that shit in the back. Just fucking give me that shit. Well, why can't I get a fish fillet after 12 a.m.? That yeah, makes no sense. Why are you sense. making it? Yeah, what the fuck? But I can't get a fucking... I can't get a fucking chicken sandwich. Also, who do you know that starts fucking eating breakfast right at five in the morning unless you wake up to work on a fucking farm? No one's fucking waking up at fuck. You wake up at I dude. I don't eat breakfast until 10, 10 a.m. Yeah. And, the and other, it's yeah. eggs and bacon. And that's it. That's the truth. And whoever came up with that, like whoever came up with that idea to be like 530 a.m. is when we're going to start doing breakfast. No. It's because of like construction workers and shit. It's just like dudes that are like on the go. They're going to be like, all right, oh, get there, get a big double, get a big I don't know riddle. who it is, but it makes no fucking sense. No, it makes no sense. People Everybody don't wake up at 530 in the morning, No, dude. people who are go to you at 530 in the morning are still fucking hungover or drunk or they have a weird job and they don't want fucking. I, yes, I love the breakfast shit at McDonald's. I yeah, do. Dude. But like Bacon, there's been plenty of times I've been there at 3 a.m. And I'm like, why are you serving this shit right now? It's 3 a.m. I don't oh. eat eggs and bacon at 3 a.m. You fucking weirdos. I've 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 eaten five McGriddles in one sitting. That's fucking disgusting. Well, those things are like that's like eating a fucking block of just like <sighs> syrup congealment. The fact that I haven't that I didn't die that moment is yeah. a is a feat. Like I'm here. Like I'm up. I'm I'm, I'm like I'm borrowed time. I it's think amazing. I had two McGriddles once, and it's crazy how when you get them because McGriddles are just so fucking compact. Oh, like, dude, they're like three they're pounds. So they're so they're ten times heavier because what's the buns are pancakes, aren't they? Or they're flapjacks or whatever the fuck you want to call them. They're syrup-infused, yeah, that's filled just, that's, fucking patties. Dude. dude, you eat them, and then that cheese and that fucking fridge sausage is just fucking that's that microwavable sausage it. dude I'll never so forget goddamn it. good i'll never forget it i ate two bacon egg and cheese ones and three sausage ones yeah but that's the kind of shit you know that food is bad for you when you eat it and like your breath changes from yeah my, yeah you start you become like tony you just, soprano like you just start eating and you're like because <sighs> <sighs> the syrup's like running through your veins and you start sweating more because your blood slows down. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your blood the, thickens. Because everything is just fucking being fucking blocked by just syrup fucking patties. And it's, it's like, just, a, like the venom symbiote takes yeah, over your body. But yeah. it's just McGriddle syrup. Yeah, it just starts eating your body on the inside. And then you eat two of them and you feel like you fucking ate three meals. Oh, my God, dude. It's, and it's just uh, two things, five, but dude. they're so good. I ate five of them. But my biggest problem is, is why can't I get a fucking grilled chicken sandwich after 12, but I can get McChickens? Well, what the fuck? It's yeah. the same shit, Yeah, bitch. it's the same thing. And fuck people you. eat people eat McChickens in the morning. That's a yeah. morning sandwich. Uh, yeah, you could eat a chicken sandwich in the morning. There's dude. nothing wrong with that. Because what? Because they, they have uh, like a McGriddle with chicken on it. Yeah. Why can't I get a fucking chicken also, sandwich? Also, the only difference is they're still serving the same shit. I know that more more people have sausage in the morning, so I get it. Ooh. But you could have sausage at night. Yeah, dude. No I, pause. I will say this: my 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 wife my wife says this and stands by this. That no one Eggs. does America. Uh, no one does breakfast better than America. America does breakfast better than any other country in the world. Like at restaurants or just people in general. Just in better? Jenny's. Just in Jenny's. You think? Yeah. I don't know. Dude. I've never been. I've never really been anywhere else. So I can't say. I've been to like twelve countries, and I can confirm. I can confirm. Yeah. Like French. Like French breakfast is cool. It's like all pastries though. It's no meat. I want pastries and meat. I want pastries and the meat. Yeah. You know? And then you go to like Italy and it's like, it's eggs and pastries too, but like weird jams, weird fucking jams you got to open up and they're in those little containers like this and you, you, like the knife doesn't fit in it all the way. I, like they don't know how to do it like, like us, here's, dude. here's the thing. Everyone, every place has their own thing, right? <laughs> no, no racism. But like, I feel like I I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be racist when it comes to breakfast. No, no, no international, <laughs> no international other place like because you have to get used to it. I've only been eating it. I've only been eating American breakfast my whole fucking life. Yeah, dude. So and when I go to other places, anything. it's not going to. I've only ever been to Canada and Montreal, and it was definitely different and weird. For sure. Dude, when I was in Greece, I was like, I have to wait till lunch. Like, I can't eat fucking souffla like soufflaki and shit. 
yeah. for for for. Is that what they serve in the morning there? Yeah, dude. It's all like everything's fucking pastry. Case. Greece has some of the best food in the world, though. Dude, I ate gyros. Yiddos. Fucking Sponakipatas. I might have ate Sponakapatas. I might have ate fifteen Yiddos in four days. You ever heard of that thing? Sponakapatas. Sp- Sponakipata. That thing that's like in a fucking uh, Sponakapata. It's that fucking. It's like a leaf or something. Oh God. yeah, it, it's a. It's like filled with. It's a grape leaf. Sepetka. Yeah, it's a grape leaf. Spin- I will say, Spinacopata. Spinacopata. <laughs> I will say my favorite salad though of all salads is Greek salad. Greek salad is the is the, oh my god yeah well if I go to the left left teddies left teddies yo left teddies left teddies <laughs> accent is that I'm doing left teddies <laughs> in fucking Terrytown that there's one in Ridge Ridge Hill but go over there fucking Opa dude. Opa that shit is good bro. Opa shit is for mad. business that you know shit what is mean? Opa for biz that shit <laughs> well, is mad good. let me get some fucking goddamn fucking spinach God I love this I love talking about food I love it I fucking I. I think the only time Greek yeah, salad. I think the only time I've ever been disgusted by something that had a different title for breakfast was Irish breakfast because it's the blood sausage. Yeah, I blood had sausages breakfast. burnt blood. Yeah, like I cur- had curds. Yeah. yeah, or something. It's like it's I like the it. blood from fucking deers or some shit. I don't know what it is. The blood sausage. Well, but but here's it's not the, good. I don't here, like it. Here's the thing that sucked is I wanted to spend more time in Dublin, but I got fucking sick as fuck on the eleventh. Yeah. So I stayed in I stayed in London for like five extra days, dude. My my shows were so poorly planned out because I th- I had a show on the tenth and then a show on the fifteenth in Belfast. So I was like, what am I gonna do for four days? Didn't have a choice. I got sick. I had a one hundred and one point eight fever for like a day and a half. That just sucks because you're in fucking England, right? Yeah. And you're. You're in England and you're in a fucking hotel room. Like that's got to be so weird. It was so sad, dude. I got so depressed. Like on the twelfth, yeah, twelfth, thirteenth, were like two of the most depressed days I've had in like a long time. I was like, just I need to just get to this other show. And I texted like uh, the people from the other venue. I was like, yo, I'm just letting you know, you guys, uh, I'm a little sick. So if there's other acts, I don't want to get them sick. Can we just split up the green room? Because I don't want to get them sick. And they were like, no, bro, like, let me know. Like, we can cancel the show. I was like, dude, I'd rather fucking die than cancel the show. Yeah, you want to still perform. You're already I will, there. I, I will have to be. You're already there. Yeah, I will have to but be. But obviously, dead. you don't want to get other people sick, though. I don't want to get other people sick. But my thing is this. That's not a cool thing to do. Bro, if somebody buys a ticket to come see me eight hours by flight across the world, if you have to fucking wheel me out there like fucking weekend at Bernie's and just raise my hands and shit, yeah. we're going to do that. You're doing it. Yeah, anyway. I'll fucking die. I'll fucking die before I cancel the show. That's just. That's just how it is. Like, I'll die before I cancel the show. But when I did the show in D.C., I had a full-blown plan- panic attack before I went on stage. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to cancel this show. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Because it's kind of like you're yeah. battling, do I just fucking sit here and deal with it or deal with it and go up on stage or just fucking leave? But but there's a party that's like, I'm probably going to feel more anxiety if I just leave right now and cancel. But, but, but the thing is, is, is when does it end? Yeah. When does it end? If I let I, this beat me now. I would just go out and be end? like, I'm having a panic attack, guys. Let's do this. I'm oh, I fucking, told him. Yeah. I told him on stage. I said, we're going to have some fun tonight. I'm fucking all fucking. I'm trauma yeah. dumping. Yeah, I'm you having know? a huge panic attack right now. There's people that don't understand, bro. It's just when does it end? When you let it get to a point where it keeps you from doing stuff. Yeah. When does it end? You know, what you're it's like, never going to end. Like, Excuse me, sir. You know what it's like to have at least. 200 eyes on you while you're fucking suffering on the inside yeah on stage. fucking 400 because i would have two eyes right? yeah i probably would have went yeah. with it too i was just like bro i'm gonna go out here and if i fucking bomb it'll be funny but like i don't i don't care about anxiety or panic ruining my comedy i'm not there yet um in terms of where it's been like uh i feel that the worst of my panic and anxiety is behind me for the most part. Uh, but that bitch still be coming over and saying, what's up? You know what I mean? Yeah, that bitch not, like that bitch still slides through for a late night suck. It's not going to, yeah, it's not <laughs> ever going to fucking go. It's not ever going to go anywhere either. No, it's, it's a lifelong struggle. You're baby. just, you're fucked for the rest of your life. It's a lifelong. Struggle. I've had it since I was fucking 15. It's still there. It's, it's sometimes worse. Actually, that's not true because the first panic attack I ever had 
I was going to a party. I was like, I was in, I was fucking, I was like living life. I was like, oh, I'm going to go party. Fuck my family. Yeah. I don't care true. about anything. Well, not fuck us, but no, yeah, I didn't say that, yeah, yeah. but I was in the car. I'm like, it's going to be a fucking sick night. I'm going to fucking party. I'm going to fucking take shots. I'm going to fucking smoke some fucking Gazanjo. And we're, I'm in the back. Gazanjo. I'm in the fucking back of the car and I'm like, you let's do this. Let's fucking do it. <sighs> yeah. And then I'm like sitting there and my hands start fucking cramping up. Like, like that fuck my hands start cramping up like the back scratcher. Yeah, yeah. No. And like changing colors. I'm in the back of the car. We're driving. It's my friend Ben and it was Perry, rest in peace. Shout out to Young Perp. He's driving in the car. We're fucking going on the way we're on the way to the party. We're going to SUNY Purchase to the school. Yeah. And because uh, that's where I'm that's where the party is. It's at the college. And I'm driving and I'm in the back and I just feel like this like hole in my chest and i'm like yo am i fucking Hell dying yeah. right now Fire. i was like what's up i was like what the fuck is this feeling that i'm having i was like am i having a-? and then all of a sudden i started just being like yo it'll be all good we're gonna get beer soon and we went to make a turn to go into school and my hands started fucking cramping up like the fucking uh wicked witch of the fucking west like when yeah, she gets bro. hit by the house or so- or her <laughs> sister like going up into the and i'm sitting there and i'm just like yo what the fuck dude like this fucking sucks right now like and then i and i go and I tell, we park and I tell Ben, I'm like, yo, guys, I think I'm straight up having a seizure. And they were like, yeah, but how are you talking? I'm like, I don't know. Look at my hands. And they turn around. And I'm just like this. Damn, like, it looks dude. like I'm just throwing up blood shit. <laughs> like, you know how they get mad close to their chest when they throw blood, yeah, yeah. blood shit up? And I just, I'm sitting in the back and I'm, my hands are all cramped up. And he's like, stop playing around. I'm like, bro, try to open my hands. And he couldn't open it. And you know, and he was like, yo, just come up with us. We'll drink. And you know what saved my life that night? Alcohol. Oldie English yeah, cold, bro. and Cole 45. Yeah, that'll cool Saved me out. from my very first panic attack. That'll cool you out. And the rest of the night, I was like, yeah, everybody fuck me. <laughs> I was so, I was like, I just had a panic attack in the car. Everybody come suck me up. I felt amazing. And then I, that was the first time I was like, oh, alcohol will help me. I don't need to have a prescription or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, how much alcohol? Then you start building up that resilience. Yep. Everything builds up a resilience. Yep. Uh, 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 resistance, resilience. Both the same thing. Hotel, Is that the same? Hotel Rwanda. Hotel Rwanda. I saw that movie once and I was like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Just genocide. Yeah. And terrible like, genocide. Terrible genocide. genocide. And yeah. I was just like, I don't know if I want to watch. I don't. This. Why do we make movies about terrible things? I don't know, man. I, it's, it's, it's like, like the world needs to see this. Yeah. Spread the word. But then you got a guy who's getting a million dollars to be like, I must save everybody. Yeah. Like, right. Fucking weird. It's like that guy's not the give the money to the, the, the real hero. Well, I've always felt that way, like, when people win Oscars for playing, like, real-life horrible people. Right, right, right. Like, Forrest Whitaker won an Oscar for Last King of Scotland. Yeah. That dude was a monster. Yeah. You know? And I was just like, yo, bro, yeah. like, we're kind of, like, bigging this guy up yeah. for, like, playing this real piece of shit. Right. You know? Like, it's kind of weird. It's, it, I don't know, man. I, fucking the shit. I, I feel like I'm so observant of all like things that I just don't need to care about. Have you ever seen Mandela? Yeah. It, it, is that movie about him as a kid at all, or is it just he's just old and because Morgan Freeman's been old for fucking seventy years? Yeah, yeah. So it's is just, he just old in the movie, and then that's it, and then he goes to jail? It's when he went to prison and then came out and became the president. Oh yeah. shit! Because he went to prison before he became the president. Did that movie suck, though? Because I don't remember hearing that much about it. I saw it when it came out. Couldn't tell you one thing that happened other than the stuff that's historically. The, the reason I bring it up is because if you get the person to be like, yeah, make a movie on me. Like, that's cool. Like, whatever. Like, that's fine. But then, like, you're doing, like, I get it. But, like, acting is so weird. Like, you're literally reenacting a genocide. That's so fucking strange. Yeah, they're like, all right, so how are we going to plan this out? I'm like, oh, God. And the worst thing is it's like. Hollywood jumps on horrible things so fast. Like, I agree. Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember like that girl, Gabby Petito. She died and like there was a documentary like maybe two days after two days after she was dead. Had like, they had confirmed they- dead. They were like, yeah, we're going to green light this and let's yeah. get a pop. Yeah. They don't know how who fucking murdered her, but they have a documentary. Already. Yeah. Yeah. And then like part two is going to come out because they found like his notebook and shit. And like, God, how crazy was that whole situation? Bro, let me tell you something. And this, and I'm part of the problem. I was in it. I was in. <laughs> yeah, your yeah, your Twitch stream was crushing it, bro. I would, yeah, bro. I would play <laughs> video games and like 30 people would come, and I would be like, yo, <laughs> yeah, let's like, solve no. the Gabby Vitino case. And be and like, like 400, 400 people. people out of nowhere, like, just like let's nah, talk about take... this fucking dead white girl for a second. Oh my god, dude, that that is that, that that's another thing too. I mean, because it's just, um, I, and I only say that because it's just, it's just like let's call it, you know, let's call a spade a spade. It's America. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like. 
You know, it's just that it, Dude, Ross. immediately it, Like everyone's going out of their way They're fucking There's guys creating their own drones for this shit And you're like And like it happens every day It's like we pick and choose Incredibly, right? But Yeah But, but The thing was is You even said it They made like a documentary And they didn't even fucking find out What the fuck happened to her yet And then, you know Obviously they had her fucking Crazy fucking weird ass boyfriend Well, yeah Who's just like If I can't have you, no one is yeah, Like but, fucking weirdo dude And all that shit And then like Brian Laundry, and you're right. Everyone did hop on board because that's oh. what we do, especially in this country. Like everything is, bro. There was I watched. Oh, we're sick freaks for sure, we're dude. We're all fucking disgusting little freaks. Netflix had like true crime shit lined up one one uh, one year, just a mad shit. The last thing I had to stop at, I think I've said this on the stream too, was uh, was uh, who's the fucking uh, John Wayne Gacy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and they're the right, just the they're just counting the bodies of like these dudes that he just shoved like thirteen inch dildos up and shit. Yeah, just and throw, I'm just like threw them under his house, dude. At one point, I got so the the fucking net the special got done, and I go, yeah, I think I need to get like mental health help now. Yeah, I, I was like, this is too much. This is too much shit, and I and I love true crime shit, and I know other people do too. But it's oh like, yeah, how much can you watch until you go? This is not all I should be doing all day. Like this is terrible. Yeah, it can, it can, it can be a lot. They're it just like women. They're like he pulled out like the seventh body, and I'm like, why am I watching this shit? Yes, <laughs> this is fun. Like, I feel like the only time that should be a part of someone's life is when they. Fucking are the people that are involved, right? And and like it's it's them, and then we people make endless movies and documentaries, and then they hire like, some actor to play the guy, and you're like, what the what is going on right documentaries now? Documentaries, I get. I'll defend docs until the day I'm dead. No, docs are very. I, I dude, love. I'm, docs. A, I'm a doc addict. I'll, I'll I'll defend docs until I'm gone. It's just dramatic recreations of things are like weird. I remember like when the whole OJ trial was going on, they were doing like dramatic. Like they hired someone to like. Fucking fake stab her and oh, shit. Oh yeah, that's so weird. I was like, this is kind of strange, dude. You want to know what else is like when, strange? like when they're when they, and I'll say this real quick before you say we got uh, start, uh, oh, to start. Oh no, no, off, no, no, but no. like when they're like, and then it turns into like fucking, you know, like uh, Tim Robbins for John Wayne Gacy in uh, underneath my house. Like what the yeah. fuck? Like why is that? A, like why are we getting, now? They're getting Oscars for it and shit. They get like, Oscars, and, and it's they, weird because like they won't even get creative with the names. It'll just be like Gacy. Yeah, I'm like, uh, did you see Gacy? I'm like, oh, do we really have to see that? And then you, you gotta hear about a, a fucking actor going. I just really, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to know this monster. Yeah, dude. And just shut know you're like, fuck shut the up. fuck up, dude. Shut you're a fucking fuck weird. Up, you're a dude. weirdo, dude. You know what I mean? And it's like, so bro. I stayed home and I jerked off with a pillowcase over my hand for three hours. Yeah. And you're like, well, who? Like, what the fuck? Like, that's just so yeah. fucking. I had, I had my uncle come there and. Touch my butt and try to kill me one night. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, why are you getting up, so man. like that's so shit like that should just be illegal. I think. Yeah. Documentaries, dude. though, I agree all day. Yeah, because it's investigative journalism. It is. You know, it is. whether it's like it is whether it's like propaganda ish. Yeah. You know, it can be propaganda ish, but yeah. like at least there's some journalism going on. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, you have you have people that are getting hired to play these monsters. Yeah. And then we have to give them like. Oh, that's so amazing that you were able to go. Yeah, there to go for through that. Yeah, I gotta listen to. I gotta hear about fucking Jared Leto <coughs> lived with like his nephew in his underwear for three weeks to like resist the fucking you know like pleasure. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. just to get Send a part. Condoms to Will yeah. Smith. Yeah. By the way, speaking of Jared Leto, that fucking loser fucking did the Joker, right? Remember that? Yeah, and he and sent he, condoms, he sent and, condoms dead and, and dead and like a and like a cut off head or something like that. And the guy fucking sucked, and yeah, it wasn't he even a, he wasn't even good in the role. He did. I, suck. I know some people will say that he was he was good because he got into it, but I didn't watch that and go, yeah, I'm convinced right now. It wasn't. Nah, good. Dude, don't don't even say that. He fucking sucked. Yeah, he was dick. trash. Yeah, yeah. He was absolutely the, trash. It, it, and if you think that he did a good job, you're an idiot. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> want to talk to our friends over at Liquid IV? Liquid IV. I want you guys to know. Everybody knows. I love Liquid IV. We love Liquid IV. We've had Liquid IV a part of our show for a very, 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 very long so time. Juicy. We love them. They are the best. You cannot get better hydration uh, for me. You know what I mean? Uh, and listen, I'm not the most athletic guy. I was an athlete when I was young, but like, I'm not like, the, you know, I'm not like in the gym crushing it, like going crazy all the time. And I think that's where people get a misconception about these kind of drinks that like you have to be an athlete. You don't need to be an athlete to be hydrated. You should just be hydrated anyway, as much as you can, whatever you can. I agree. Be hydrated. 
or you'll, uh, you might die. So yeah, so you don't have to be an athlete uh, need to need extra hydration throughout your day from Zoom meetings and workouts, the long travel days, and fun night uh, fun nights out. Liquid IV makes it easy to stay hydrated, and this is what I love about what Liquid IV is doing. They've got three delicious sugar-free flavors for your diabetic boy right here. White peach, green grape, and lemon lime. White peach, magnifique, chef's kiss, fantastic. A proprietary zero-sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners. And uh, the thing I also love about Liquid IV, it's the convenient packaging. Convenient packaging. Um, it's very small. You can throw it in your bag. Very tiny, rip it open, dump it in some water, shake it up, and now you got a great, great, great hydration drink. And the other thing, it doesn't just hydrate you, okay? It's, it contains eight vitamins and nutrients that are essential for everyday wellness. Uh, it's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Replaces sugar with a proprietary amino acid aluose blend. Aluose blend. I always tell them, I'm like, guys, I can't say that word the right way. Uh, it's a naturally occurring sweetener with the same sweet taste and texture one can expect from table sugar, baby. Um, listen, so this is what you could do. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or you can get 20% off right now when you go to liquidiv.com and use code LOPS, L-O-P-S, at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop for better hydration today using promo code L-O-P-S, L-O-P-S, liquidiv.com slash L-O-P-S, 20% off, baby. Get after it. You want to know what I also love to get after? Tell them. Tell them. The NBA. Love the NBA. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball is back. And DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, is celebrating an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down $5 on the NBA. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. You'll start the season with an instant dub. And with DraftKings parlays, everyone's got a shot at an even bigger basketball wins. String together multiple bets from the same game or build your parlay across multiple games for a shot at making your payday even sweeter. Basketball is more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code LOPS, L-O-P-S. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5 only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code LOPS, L-O-P-S. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, license, uh, licensee partner Golden Nugget Lake Charles, 21 age varies by jurisdiction all right so 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction uh bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance uh c sportsbooks.com uh dot draftkings.com slash basketball terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions terms and responsible gaming resources so bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions. Term and ah! Talk about a time in your life when you knew what was good for you, but your brain was getting in the way. You know, like trying to fall asleep at night and erasing thoughts keep you awake. Do you ever feel your brain is getting in its own way? There's some times where I feel like we were just talking about it. My brain gets in my own way and I can't get things done because I'm allowing either it would be my anxiety or my panic to win. And I'm letting my own brain get in the way. And everybody knows my experience with mental health. Uh, it's been a difficult one, ups and downs, and I'm doing a lot better now. But everybody, you know, I had to go and get help. And uh, better help was there for me. So. Like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you can't just do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Um, 
If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash LOPS today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash LOPS, L-O-P-S, for 10% off your first month. And let's get back to the show, Daddy. You know, I want to ask you, since you were talking about uh, sport bets, too, before... Uh, what first off? What's your whole uh, opinion on the Taylor Swift, uh, Kel- Kelchy thing? Is that his name? Kelsey, Kelsey, uh, Travis Kelsey, Kelsey. I love, I love that you don't have the emotional stranglehold of sports on you. Yeah, no, I don't have because I, I don't need anything else to stress about. I can't. Do oh it. my god, bro! I end crazy- my life. And and you know we, it's the truth. There's it ruins my week. Like the Giants won this week, and like I'm gonna have a good week now because they won. Right. You know, what, are they, like, one in, what are they like one in four or something? Two and five. Oh, Two and five. Sorry yeah, to remind they, you. Yeah, they stink. <laughs> you can't sports fans like you got to be so careful around because they're so fucking goddamn fucking sensitive. Not even in a bit like a not, not even like a making fun of them way. It's like you can't you like you like just don't fucking remind me right now because it's a way different life of just stress. I've, I've realized <laughs> like betting, especially if betting's involved, but obviously there's some wins with that too as well. Yeah, so man, it's like it's all about, so it's like it's all about you just... do it cuz you know what you can handle. You know what I mean? It's not like you can't, but you're a normal person so you're going to be like today wasn't the day. I don't even want to fucking talk about oh, it. Oh right no, now. I mean, listen man, you got to play responsibly. That's it. Yeah. You know, play responsibly. Don't bet over your head. No, I don't even mean betting. I mean just being a sports fan in general. I just oh, yeah. mean in general is like, yo, I don't want to talk about my re- the record. I don't want to talk about what happened last week. Well, fantasy I don't football talk is about the worst, anything, dude. I'm in yeah. a thousand, I'm in a thousand dollar buy in league. Yeah. In fantasy football. Yeah. Thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't know what that's I could never do that. I won it twice. Right. I won the first two years. Yeah. All right, it's a twelve man. Well, I can never do it because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you, yeah, but people like you fucking win fantasy though. It's people that like really try to do it that fucking suck at it. <laughs> Is that what happens? You just get like lucky. Yeah, it's it's like when like I feel like girls pick like the national championship, like the March Madness, and like they always win because like the mascot's cute or the colors. Yeah, yeah, they just be like, the colors are cute. I like their jerseys, and like they go to the Sweet Sixteen. I'm like, how the fuck did they pick this 16 seed to beat the one seed? How do you feel about Travis and and Taylor? Um, I I honestly love it because Selena hates it. Why? Big, big Chiefs fan. Oh, yeah. Selena Selena's been a Chiefs fan her entire life. Her dad. Yeah, her dad's I, been a Chiefs fan. This is fan true because she's got life. old videos holding the fucking merch up and everything. Oh, so it's yeah. not like this is something that just happened because. Oh, Mahomes no. Mahomes and everyone's like winning all the fucking time now. No, Selena's not a bandwagon sports fan. She's right. not even a huge sports fan. Her right. dad is a huge Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs fan. Right. And uh, I saw Taylor Swift and Brittany Mahomes do a handshake. Yeah, yeah. That How did was, you feel about it? That How was you... the whitest, cringiest fucking shit I've ever seen. Also, you know it's super white when you go, okay, okay, let's do it. Are you ready? Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Fives are just like, like me and you right now could literally do a five like this, like this, and it looks okay. Like lock our fingers up and like do like, and it looks natural. No, but the way she, like, yeah, just, yeah, she was like, okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Hopscotch, double wham. Grandpa had an old ass hand. Do it around. Do it like this. Blueberry gumdrops in my miss. Like, Bam. It's, it, yeah, and they're like, ooh, and you're just like, oh my god, like, like, because how old's Taylor Swift? Is she in her thirties yet? I think she might be thirty. Two, three, right. Okay. Three. So then that fits. That's all right. I was like, it's like, yeah, she's still 26 do doing like fucking old, like fucking like suburban mom handshakes. But the way they pre- prep for it, dude, fucking Hispanic people, black people, all they got to do, like just see each other fucking walking down the street oh. and you immediately know what you're going to do. And it's fluid and that's it. And that's all a beautiful dab. A beautiful it. dab is coming. Now, are there white people who are probably going to dab it up and get a handshake in? Of course. Yeah. All right. But let's just, let's just, that was not a good look. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's just like, wait, 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 wait. Like it was so just corny. so planned looking like they're having, listen, if they're having fun, obviously have fucking yeah, fun. Have, have fun. fucking fun. Your boyfriend plays for a fucking NFL team. You want to see him win, even it's though you probably never watched a sport in your fucking life and you really don't care. But like, uh, I just, I'm more worried about like, cause here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hate Taylor Swift. I actually don't. I don't. Really, I really don't. I think of all. I know the, a lot of people hate on her, but it's like a bandwagon thing. And also a lot of people fucking love her. And that's a bandwagon. I will thing. tell you this. I respect Taylor Swift 
mainly because she writes a shit ton of music. Bro, she's gangster. And she she's works doing mad it. hard, bro. She's, she's been insane. doing it for so long. Like people talk about like Drake like having a stranglehold. I'm like, he can't touch Taylor. No, Swift. she's insane. Bro. He can't come nowhere near her. Dude. Bro, she went to a fucking like a cafe in fucking Long Island and fucking almost sank the whole goddamn fucking island. Yeah, dude. And and she writes her fucking that music. Part I, res I, I respect her in a sense. I, as an artist, I respect Taylor Swift. So like I the same same reason I don't like like I'll hate on Drake's shit, but like you can't get past the fact that that dude is a is a fucking hustler. Like he he earned everything that he got. You know what I yeah. mean? Like and he works hard as shit. Well, Most people would fall under would fold underneath the uh, fold under the pressure. You right. know what I mean? Well, here's the thing. Think of everything that you've ever loved, right? Think of everything you've ever loved: music, video games. Right. Who's the best? Who's the best rapper of all time? In your mind, if you, if you just had to throw one out, to me, yeah, like who's who do you think's the best rapper of all time in your mind? Not like in the grand scheme of like. It's just such a. It's just I don't know what I don't know what people like. What makes a good rapper? Okay, so I'll you. make it simpler. Is Nas a better rapper than Drake? Lyrically, yeah. Rapper, can he rap better than Drake? In my opinion. Yes. Okay. Can Jadakiss rap better than Drake? Yes, definitely. Okay. Can Jay Z rap better than Drake? A hundred percent. Yes. Okay. So it shows that you don't have to be the most talented to be the most successful. It's work ethic. Right. Everything is work. Ethic. But he is a great rapper, though. No, it just helps that he he he's good at what he does. Yeah, lyrically he is good, though. You don't have to be the best to be the best. Yeah. You just don't have to. Yeah. Like. Everything, yo, being, be, it's not basketball. It's yeah. not like, yo, we scored more than you. Yeah. We did this, we did that. You don't have to be the best. Like, there's not like graded shit. Like, there's reviews and shit, but reviews are subjective. Yeah. You know, you can see Anthony Fantano giving it a, a five, right? But somebody can give it a 10. Yeah. You know, so if you really think about it. Is that the dude who looks like a light skin, like Charles Barkley kind of? Yeah, 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 yeah. He does all the my, music my, my, my thing is You don't is have like, to be the best You gotta work harder Than everybody else Right That's what everybody Needs to take away From this entire Fucking podcast today And not have some Fucking dickhead in Romania With a you know, Versace robe Tell you yeah. <coughs> yeah Just work hard man Just work hard Try to work harder yeah. A little bit harder every I respect day. his work ethic and I d by no means think that he's trash at, at like nah, actually bro, rapping. bro, Drake can rap his ass off. Yeah. It's just that yeah. he's not the best rapper ever, but he's just a fucking really hard working guy. Yeah, I don't talent. think I could ever, I don't think I've ever listened to him go, oh, damn, that's cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said I that. I don't know, bro. APM and Charlotte has a fire ass shit in it. Like he said, he has bars from time to time. Look, let me tell you something. And I've been Nobody listening to him since the beginning of time. Nobody needs a people, break. People are like, you don't listen to Drake. I'm like, bro, I listened to fucking the very first album he ever made. Everybody needs a break from Drake. Drake or needs the, a break. His debut album, yeah. Drake needs a break from Drake. We need a break from Drake so he can go and live his life and enjoy all right. this shit. Because you want to know. But when he's got a LeBron mentality. So he wants to. Now he knows he's close to Mike Jack. So he wants to get the. He, which he's going to get. He's yeah, going to beat that dude. record. It's just a matter of time. It's whenever he wants to. Right. Go take a break. A take year. a break. Come back. And your numbers will be even crazier because you fucking disappeared for a little bit. Because here's the thing, bro. Back in the day, and I just think that there's a lot more music that's out now. It's just easier to get music. But like when huge artists dropped albums. Yeah. You talked about them for years. Yeah. For years. You know what I mean? And it's he hasn't had a classic body of work in a long time, but he's blessed to have a classic at all. So yeah. he, and he's considered to have two or three classics. Yeah. So it's just like, yo, bro, like you're good, dude. Like take some fucking but time off. But he want the reason he's so butthurt by critics is cuz he wants to also be that rapper. He does want to be considered lyrically like one of the nicest and he do, like he wants that because he because he loves it he loves what he does and he has a passion for it and he wants to be jada he wants to be those guys he doesn't want to be the dude he wants to be jada at 40 something and performing the way that he did against dipset he wants that part of yeah too. But, but he's 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 like transcended that shit like he'll never do that no that'll never be his it's not his yeah it's you'll not never his see lane in, in, in hip-hop you'll never see jay-z on verses 
Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. th- there's not a bag big enough. Yeah, to get but Drake but or, but or even if he did, I'm talking about the way that Jada captured the audience that day and showed how much of a fucking respected rapper he is. Jay Z can do that if he wanted to. Yes. He could crush. Yes. yes. Drake can't do that. Nah, he don't got it. Drake will fucking bring the hits and everyone will be like, oh yeah, damn. Like everyone will do that shit and love whatever. But he'll never get a crowd the way Jada did and everyone just goes, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But the thing is, is no young kid, not a lot of young kids are going to a show like that and going, God damn, but they would if they really listened. Like Drake like doesn't have that he doesn't have that like uh, tenacity, I feel like. He, I just he does think... when it comes to grinding and doing shows. And he got, yeah. and, and when he gets pissed, he does his thing. But I've never been, oh, damn, like Jada's sca- like uh, Drake is scary right now. I've never once said that. Um, when he when he when he rapped even against even when he did back to back back to back was which was fucking awesome back to back was when he did it I was I remember where I was when he did back to back yeah but you can't that's how good it was you can't compare back to back to like no Vaseline it's like not even close like in terms or just Jada and Beanie Siegel going back and forth bars bars dude I I go because even that had people from this area being like oh Beanie verse was kind of hard yeah like I still listen to all those verses from time to time yeah. But it's just like Drake's not like that. Drake, I, I feel like I just want a project from Drake where he's not insecure about like women and like he's secure in himself. Like if he goes somewhere and gets insecure with first of all, I feel like this dude suns me on every fucking thing he ever does. Yeah. You know what I mean? He makes you realize like your life isn't shit. Yeah, bro. I'm like, yo, be more fan friendly, bro. Like fuck with us. You yeah. know, like, fuck, you said for all the dogs, you made us all the dogs kind of feel like shit. No, you I made, was like, yo, he I'm made, having a money, no, I'm yeah. a bitch. No, he meant, like, you're all dogs, and you're, and, like, I'll, f- you, like, drink out of bowl dishes, and you're shit, and you're worthless. Yeah, and I'm just Not like, worthless, but, like, you're you're all just dogs. Yeah, bro. That eat from a bowl. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like, yo, like, I don't want to hear, like, some, about some relationship you had when you were 18, bro. Like, talk, like, talk about being a dad. You know, like in a real way, like not in some like weird way, like Adonis need a sister. I'm sure I'm he like, has. Bro, you're almost fo- he's almost 40. I feel like I'm going down like a Joe Budden route here. But like, it's just one of those things, bro. Take a little break. Do get your health right. His stomach's all fucked up because he drinks like 19 Aperol spritzes a day. You <laughs> know what it is? He drinks. Comics, yeah, he drinks a fucking like Bayberry spritz all day. Go fucking take care of your health, bro. And be good and stop like making smaller people feel like shit. He right. Well, feel all, like garbage. And also he's already he's in his 30s still and he's already one of the most he's the most successful rapper of all time. Yeah, bro. Just go away for a little bit. Get healthy and fix your mind. You know, cut your hair or something, you know, go work out, come back with like a new look, do your thing, bro. And like enjoy, enjoy the fruits of your labor, bro. Stop being so fucking upset about everything he's very very upset also push a t made him dad of the year he wasn't he wasn't going to talk about any of that shit that's like, that's that's i've never that no that's never been done in rap history yeah he made him a better dad he made him a <laughs> real dad or at least have to show it publicly but that's the one that's the one yeah. that's the one kink in his armor right? i hate when push a t does that Ugh. i hate that it's the corniest thing ever yeah some people hate it. he's like it. trying to make it his trademark like it's not as cool as like ah no, you know no, what I mean? no. Like Jada's laugh is, is yuck, really and it's like, <laughs> I mean, Drake's yeah is like universal. Like you hear, yeah, you're like, oh, it's about to go off. Drake's nice. I, bro. I haven't felt like that since he was on the Travis fucking uh, since he was on sicko mode. Though. Astro, oh my god, dude. that was fucking I, bro, crazy. That that track is fucking is ridiculous. I'll be honest with you, bro. That that song is like in the in the last twenty years. That's a that's a top ten rap song. Yeah, that song is that just the energy they bring on it, and then they had their little yeah. beef, and then they find out Drake's actually on the album. Like shit, like that has to be done more, you know. Like even tr- even like I've said it to you in the car. Like I gotta fucking listen to fucking uh, little Ye- Yeetskis or whatever his name is, fucking Young Yeetles, like fucking <laughs> Young Yeetles, Young Yeets. But like those beats are hard as fuck. Like there's certain oh, yeah. things that I'm like, I like this guy's voice. I like his cadence. He has his own style. But then I'm like, that, then he goes into like this, I'm gonna put my turn. and I'm like, why are you doing the young thug thing, bro? Be yourself. You well, don't have to fucking do that, all that shit. Also, also, like we're, who's we're, gonna, get, who's we're gonna, getting, gonna, we're getting who's, old. Who's gonna? T- we are, but we're who's gonna? T- who's gonna take Drake's spot? 
Like, can you hear Jadakiss? Like, Jadakiss still shows props to Drake and goes, he's one of the greatest ever. He said it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he knows the business side of it. But bro. what's going to be after Drake? It's going to be some dumb mother, like, really dumb shit. Like, Drake's not, Drake is still, like, It'll intelligent, be- written out, clear, coherent bars. Yes. What's going to be after him? Is it going to be, like. There's always somebody, dude. The illest of all time is going to be some guy who's like, I'm going to start my party. <laughs> like, I'm going to step in a party. That's who's going to be. Who's gonna take? Who do you think's gonna take Drake's spot? Then? They're not out yet. They're not because they it, it comes along only once in a while. Yeah, it comes along. It's the same thing in sports. Well, Drake is like, listen. They used to say like, if we're talking like in terms of like sales and shit or Funny. whatever, like Beatles were once in a lifetime, right? But then Michael came, and then like, you know, yeah. You got to remember, bro. Like Whitney Houston. You got to remember, like, there's a, Taylor Swift. Celine Dion. Oh, well, that's like, yeah, that's like, music as a whole. But I'm just saying, like, music as a whole, like, he's a pop star, dude. I don't look at Taylor him as a Swift's rapper. fucking fa- Taylor Swift's popularity is fucking scary. Ain't nobody fucking with that bitch, bro. Bro, she's so fucking badass, though. She can handle it all. Yeah, bro. She's a she's, fucking beast. It's just so funny to me, like, this little tiny ass girl is built for that shit. And, yeah. like, I can barely fucking go outside and get mailed. How tall is Taylor Swift? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and she yeah. and she's just like, yeah, like the fucking like selling out planets, bro. Yeah, dude. She, yeah, I, yeah. I, I guarantee you, if if they made a venue that would hold everyone in America, she would sell the most tickets. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. What's dude, her fucking? What's the name of her tour? Eros or something uh, like Eros. Like, like okay, Eros this is tour. how you know she's insane because even I, even uh, the whole world knows about it. Yeah. You know. Oh well, her and B. Well, this is a crazy tour, Eric, because you got fifty. You got Beyonce, you got Taylor Swift, you got Drake, well, the all thing, on tour at the same time. The thing I hate about Drake is that he makes me want to divorce my wife. Yeah. All, he has all these bars being like, yeah, your man like took you to the Drake show. Like, you better go home and love that man instead yeah. of like showing love and Selena, to me. And Selena fucking loves Drake. Loves Drake, dude. Loves Drake. I asked her, I said, yo, if Drake walked down our aisle instead of 21 Savage, I said, would you touch him? Like, try to touch him? Yeah, like, well, how would you feel? And she was like, yeah. And I was just be like... I don't know how Imagine I feel you about just that. like Yeah, I, I just like, ripping your hand off. If I just if I but <laughs> ripping the, her hand off. But the thing is I love Drake so much too is I might gay out and try to Yeah, 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 yeah. You might throw her and then like just grab his chin or whatever yeah. that person tried to do. Yeah, yeah. I think like I would take one of the little barrettes out of his hair and like yeah. keep it and like put it in my like uh everything I wear. Did you see that? One of the girls trying to grab his face and he was like, What the fuck? And he's like, yeah. Hey, what's up, yeah? Like he was like yeah. mad nice immediately after. No. Cause I, yo, people touching me, bro, I'm breaking your fucking fingers. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Don't fucking touch me like that. That's that is like people were like, damn, like people there see it. I'm like, what do you mean? You can't touch him like you don't know him. Well here's the craziest thing though too. It's like I, I relate to Drake on some things, right? It's like he's not really hood, but like might have dabbled in some hood things at points in their life. Yeah. And like, you know, I, I feel that we were both guilty of that at some point, you yeah. know, um, we, we don't incriminate ourselves on the radio, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like we've dabbled in some things and it's like, I see a lot of insecurity in him and in his music. And I hope he goes away, gets secure and then comes back. I mean, I just don't know what, like he didn't have to like, I've been there before. Stop, I mean, like, I've, shitting on people. I've been there. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human being, but he, this motherfucker wrote a goddamn fucking novel to Joe Budden in, on Instagram in a comment. Yeah. Because section, here's the thing bro. about Drake, bro, is that Drake like, is hyper sensitive and hyper aware, bro. He follows like 4,000 people on Instagram. Yeah. You're not, if you follow 4,000... Yo, he's way too big of an artist to follow that many people on Instagram. He's yeah. tapped in, bro. He's tapped in. Ter- think, he sees everything. Do you think he killed Triple, triple X? No. Man. I don't no. think he did either. No. Bro, you guys see the comment section. Yeah, but sometimes the most silent soft motherfuckers do craziest things. And I'm like, okay, bro. I'm not going to say that never happened. But there's so many other people he could have killed and should have killed before Triple X. Why would Drake have him hit? For the, for saying so, everyone's everyone. Why no? Everyone says also because he was threatening his number one spot and 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 threatening him. I guess I don't remember any of that though. Yo, know, that dude, that kid was that kid. God rest his soul or whatever was a piece of shit. Here's my thing. So like, if you really think this dude like <clears throat> beat up his baby moms and was like gonna like sh- that that kid would have been in jail at some. Well, point. he didn't really. Yeah, he also didn't have a chance to like change or grow or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, no. But I'm just telling you, like Drake has been. The perfect storm of like, of 
everything going right, even when it goes wrong. He's untouchable. I just, I just he, he appeals to white people. Do, here's a difference. Real here's, white people. Here's a white moms. Here's a difference between like what Diddy apparently did for Pac. Oh, he gay. And what Drake did. Um, and what Drake did. Yeah. Diddy thought gang members, including Pac, eventually were all going to fucking kill him and Biggie Smalls at yeah. one point. I think he's going to. I don't think it was a good reason to do it, but there's a difference between why he did it as being like a soft little like weirdo and then like Drake doing it just because someone's going to take his number one spot. Yeah. No. Like, dude, well, he fan, talks about it on the album. fans are so. Yeah, well, fans are just so weird. And they're like, that's what he wants you to think. And I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. You're a psycho. Now, I will say that. Do something with your day, you fucking loser. Yeah, I, I will say this, though. It's like when you get like a rich white kid that loves hood shit and goes to the hood and like. It's everybody, he, he bro. Bring, you no, know, but it's like he brings his like dad's BMW to the hood. And like his his boys there like hang out with him and they they let him in because like you can finance a lot of things. I'm not saying he does that, but you know, he's had people in OVO who got shot and killed and shit. So like, who knows what he finances and shit? But like, you well, know, when you're that rich and you're that famous and you're in hip hop and whatever, I mean, even like you have and 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 one of your fucking guys that you're cool with, like when you start getting when uh, when. Uh, when uh, Birdman is fucking technically like a your boss dad. up from you, yeah, like your fucking grandpa, and like your fucking dad is already in the business and knows people, went and to then, jail with a gun charge. And who's the fucking dude everyone's afraid of, but no one ever really really knows what the fuck he did from the south that everyone's fucking uh, Jay Prince. Jay Prince, like which, like I still to this day I don't know what the fuck that guy's done I'm for still, people to be scared of him. I'm still I, scared it's of organized him. crime, of course, one hundred percent. But like, <laughs> like, uh, but. Now, he's cool with these people. Have they ever fucking said some real shit to him probably in a room and he's just willing to listen and be a product of that? Of course. But he knows how to play the game and play his part. And he's so powerful that those people want to be around him because of that, too. Because you got to remember, the power of popularity and money is ridiculous. Well, You'll have anybody by your side or in your pockets at that point. So I, so I yeah. get it. But, like, who's really like he's like yeah just get it done like i don't see drake being that kind of dude he's a I fucking can, he's a lover he's too much he's too busy trying to ride dick in order to fucking snatch it from people you know what I'm saying? I, like, I could see him paying somebody to get beat up though yeah of course well like, he didn't uh, did do it to push a t yeah they like throw shit at the stage yeah and, and like shit like that i just thought, i could see that but killing somebody is really bad that's what I, bro I, killing him while he's out just like enjoying his day while i mean he was going to get the bar, whatever like People saw him and they ran up on him and they saw an opportunity. Also, those motherfuckers, I would have snitched on Drake in two seconds. Yeah, if bro. I had to do time for Drake, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck what, that. what? And then I like, I can, I'm like, what do you, what do you have to say to that? Oh, like he's gonna pay for their family to be okay? No, hell no. Those nah. kids wanted to rob someone famous and they got shook and they shot him. Yep, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And, um, now, if it was someone was like, I think Jay Prince was involved or something like that. Like if Offset would have just gone missing out of nowhere recently, I'd be like, oh, Jay Prince did that shit. Oh, I did a shit for Jay Prince because you could. That energy's there now. I did it for the mob. Times. Again, it's not impossible, but I don't think he murdered somebody, bro. Nah, not dude. or or even called the shots to do it. I don't nah, think he, bro. That's weird. No, nah, and also he what he hired like three random ass kids from that area to do it. Nah, that doesn't just, make any fucking sense. Just got caught lacking, bro. Got caught lacking. That's just that's all there is. Yeah, for that. very very unfortunate for his situation. And he was by himself. Yeah, bro. Yo, Pusha T. Like said, his best friend's gonna die. And he's still alive. That's what I mean. It's not. Come on. Come on. It's crazy. Uh, the next thing I wanted to ask you, too, and this will be the last thing we talk about. Um, if you, like, had to have a weird superpower, that's not, like, one that we have now that's, like, you know, the, the, I hate the question of if you could have one superpower, what would it be? If you had to have a weird superpower, what do you think it would be? Uh, that I could never have, like, for some reason, I just, after I shit, I just never have a poopy butthole. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's good, right? That's a good one. Never have a poopy butt would be amazing. That'd be an amazing. Imagine yeah. sitting down, just deucing mad hard after a long, shitty day. Because it's bad enough when you poop, you're like, oh, I pooped all over my butthole. And then you got to fucking go and reach for a thing. And then you yeah. get older and your butthole starts bleeding because yeah. your fucking old ass butt has just been through millions of fucking plies oh god and then you got to switch to bidets and all that shit when you get older ah, now if i could just poop and then like my butt imagine sitting down shitting and then getting right back up again oh, 
That's amazing. And right? you want to know something too with that though? You like you never have to fight crime with it. <laughs> no, you, know, you don't have to worry. Yeah, you don't need an alter no, ego. You no. probably monetize yes, it. Yes, yes. You could shit in the goddamn woods if you have to, and not yeah. worry about your poopy butthole well, and, the, and getting like itchy, itchy buttholes. So you couldn't tell people about it because then they would study you like a lab rat. Yeah, that's true. You know what like, I mean? How does this guy never get poopy butt? Yeah. So now we have to like study him, but you could monetize your asshole. That <laughs> yeah, way. you could. That would be great. I you I, I was thinking about it on the way over. And yeah, you know what would be yours? You know, you know when you see those signs that come up and it's like missing person, okay, like uh, Toyota Corolla gray, yeah, missing, yeah. That by just seeing it, I could immediately know where they were. Yeah, like oh, you would just know, like yeah, by- yeah, it would just go, and I could just be like, oh yeah, he's over here. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? Just like, he you know, like gets like sucked up. I'm like, oh, they're over there, and just make the phone you call. Just, be like, oh, sound, he's here right now. You sounded like every weed head that like ha- like doesn't get high anymore, so they have to hold it in for 15, sec- 15 seconds. I used to hate smoking weed with people like that too. It used to piss me off. Yeah, because they're like, oh, they're just, they're like holding it. You're like, I'm like, dude, it's weed, bro. It's weed. Yeah, just let it out. Yeah, you're smoking that like it's crack, dude. Yeah, you're, you're just, trying to have a crack, like bro, or just go smoke crack, bro. That's a crack hit. Crack yeah. people go, because yeah. they have to hold it in. Because they they're only gonna be high for three minutes, dude. You're gonna be high for eight hours. What, just chill. Uh, what's, what's I just want to be able to find kidnapped people, dude. That'd what's, be so fucking cool. What's one fucked up drug you would do that like you knew you know you would be okay and you wouldn't have an addiction to it and everything would be fine if you could just try it like once. Like if all right, say if I'm being honest, say you have no choice, right? You're kidnapped and they're like you got to smoke all of one of these fucked up drugs. <laughs> Which one would you do? Heroin. <laughs> Damn, really? I would, I would Damn, smoke heroin. Fucking big edge. The heroin? You would do I, big age? I would do the big age because um, I, I think I'm way better with things that brings you down than up. Because, like, I, uh, Schneef, I've already done that. Yeah. And who knows, though, bro? Like, I've probably smoked crack before. You think point. so? Yeah, dude. Why? Like in a blunt, <laughs> you mean, by accident? Yeah, in a blunt. I probably smoked a crack blunt, and I've also probably have, like, left the cigarette out around cocaine, and it's just picked up crack res. Yeah, but you know how many humans mistake their anxiety for, like, they got laced? Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I've never blamed it on that. I just know that that's I was I just was happening to do cocaine at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I, I'm gonna die. But my thing was, did you feel like you're gonna die? I can't, dude. One hundred percent. That's a terrible 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 feeling to have yeah dude and then this is why I, I i would go to heroin is because when i felt like i was gonna <laughs> die my heart was going crazy and then i went there and they gave me an ativan which is an anti-anxiety medication right right, right. they gave me that they gave me liquid ativan and i felt like i could literally help oh. anything and everyone in the hospital it was that kind of feeling yeah dude it went away immediately well, that's because it, when it's inter, when it's IV, it, it hits you almost suddenly, but it's a little bit stronger, right? Yeah, it was. It was a little bit stronger, and I was literally like, all those feelings that I just had were gone. And what, like I, what? Yeah, I was gonna say, what did it like? Is it almost like you're like? Here's how I describe. People go, "What would you like your medicine to do if you do it?" Just when I was a kid, when I was like five, and like didn't care about anything. That's how I want to feel again. Yeah, bro. I wish like I- not being scared of everything, like and just like. And just being like 10 years old and being excited to see a fucking uh, tombstone for the first time. This is what. Yeah. You know, what I mean? it's like I, I talk about like a lot of this. Uh, Shrooms. A lot of this in like kind of my set, too. It was weird how you said about like an old butthole. Like the other day I was looking at my penis and I was like, dude, my penis is 34 years old. Yeah, that's crazy, right? I have a 34 year old. Pe- I've been peeing out of the same penis for 34 years. And you've been relatively like that's okay. 30 and it's every day, by the way. Multiple times. How many how many days old? Hold on, we got hold on, We got to look up. All right. Hell, you're fucking 35, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll be 35 in January. 35. So just look up how many days. How many days are in 35 years? How many days be in 35 years? Yeah. How many days be in that? Dude, you've pissed and have shit. Well, almost. Some days you probably skip. So piss, you definitely mm. peeing. You're definitely doing every day. Uh, more if than you once, hold in your twice. piss for more than a day, you're a fucking psycho, or you're like at work all day. Oh, dude, and when I first got diagnosed with diabetes, I was pe- peeing like nine times a day. Yeah, if you're holding in your piss, you're somewhere where you can't piss. Yeah, um, I, to, I I could pee right now, dude. Your dick is twelve thousand seven hundred and seventy five days old. I have a twelve thousand. Uh, I have a twelve thousand day old dick. Day old dick, and your dick's even older. Yeah, my dick's like. 14. How many days old is your penis? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dan Heldel. I, th- I love I I love doing this bit on stage because it's just such a weird fucking pothead thing to think about. Dude, my dick's thirteen thousand days old. You have a thirteen. D- you, I have a thirteen thousand day old dick. And you've probably taken upwards to thirty thousand peas in your life. Oh, okay, because you piss more than once in a day. Yeah. So b- times two, it's twenty six thousand. Damn. And then extra days where you drink a lot of water and pee, you've peed out of your penis probably thirty thousand times. times. And we never, dad's the only one to get kidney stones so far though, right? Yeah, dude. I remember when he was peeing out a kidney stone one time and I just heard him go, ah! Yeah. Ah! yeah, you know what scared me? <laughs> Fucking Green Mile made me scared of kidney stones. Oh, go cool. yeah. When dude. he's like, I just got to go outside. It's like, oh. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, I'm, kidney stones are scary. I, I drink a lot of water just so I don't get those. I would, if the John Coffee was real though, I'd let 30 men grab my dick if it helped me to not get kidney stones. Dude, ever. if someone. Because it looks so terribly. Bro, that big, sharp. If a big black strong man came up to me right now grab my like, d i'll grab your penis and make it work better i'm like grab my penis yeah dude. do it make it bigger and make it fucking so it'll never hurt and i was like i already know you have a you know that little man. burn pee pee you get from like jizzing too much yeah now how about that you know how bad <laughs> you know how bad that hurts i know that's kidney stone supposed to be like 10 10 times fucking more painful than that i had a uti once and i was like i'm just gonna cut my penis off like it's over it was so painful. Yeah, because you like want to let it squirt out, but you know what's uh-huh. about to happen. You go, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, you just yeah. finally let it out, and it's like razor blades going down your dick. Oh dude. my god, dude! And it's weird, like it's weird to really think about that. Our pe- like, the human body is the best creation ever. I don't care. Yeah, what it's not. It's, un- fuck it's these phones, naturally, cameras. naturally, everything that it is can't fuck with us. Bro. Everything around us is made by like us. It's, or, yeah, the reason that we're able to do this because of us. Yeah. Well, not us because yeah. we're idiots, but yeah. like yeah, we don't you know, know scientists and shit. Right. Yeah. You know, we yeah. didn't even know what a walk a walk through was or whatever it's called. We still I forgot. What's a wormhole? Yeah, you thought you, you thought it was wormhole. It's I rabbit it was, hole. It's rabbit hole. All right, before we go, I uh, you're always getting me fucking gifts on here and looking like fucking Danny St. Nicholas. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. I finally got you. Uh, oh, it's stapled and everything. Look I at that. Got, oh, no, no okay. this is literally like a Chinese food delivery <laughs> bag. <laughs> I was like, this kid's going to give me an egg roll? Sweet. I got Danny th- something that I knew he was going to want. Whoa. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid remade. I talked to Danny about it. Acted like I wasn't going to get it for him. And he's like, oh, damn. Son. Like He's like, I, I want to get one, but I got Spider-Man. Oh, man. So it's got all the three Metal Gear Solids on there. Ah, fuck. What happened? You're back? You got stabbed by something? What the fuck? Are you okay? Dude. What happened? What the fuck is this? Another gift for Danny Lopriori, Oh, my dude? God, dude. You scared <laughs> the fucking shit out of First me. First off, say thanks for this. I did. I no, did. no, I'm I kidding. Was, I'm joking. I was, I'm joking. I, was, I'm kidding. I was already teary. This was... Someone gave me this gift. This is, this is for you. I, I wanted to get it. I don't know if it's going to be a big deal to you. Like the things that you got from me is, I think it's, I think it will be because you liked it more than me, but this is for you. And, uh, thanks for always getting me stuff. Shout out to, uh, well, I'll say afterwards. Don't look, close your eyes and unravel it. I know what it is. It's a fat gay peak, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? Um, oh my god it's a fat gay <laughs> pikachu we did yeah. it man. oh my so, god i know you wanted to get it out of the package but oh, i was like i gotta get fat gay it's pee. a fat dude you have to either get that I get love, that i love it put that in a way stronger case oh my god you gotta show the camera guys yeah, this is the fat gay peak fat gay dude. peaks dude oh my god it's a rainbow rare too and middle, <laughs> it's a rainbow so danny oh god, danny dude. actually used to go on his thanks, ig thanks so much Oh yeah, fucking fucking. Guys, grown ass men getting happy about fat gay Pikachu. I've I've Danny's been trying to get this card. All of COVID I hunted this card. Yeah. All and I could, and it was the elusive fat gay peak. It's elusive I, fat gay peak. The elusive fat gay peak. And shout out to so crispy with a K. Three crispy two, did this. Crispy got this three two six. He hooked, he hooked it up. He went out of his way and he fucking made it happen. And I didn't like. He gave us uh, other cards and stuff, and has always been awesome and sending stuff in. Of course. Thank you, crispy. Man. But he he was like, bro. I know, you, like I know you guys. So we made it. We made it happen together. He he went out of his way. He got his hookups for it. That's like you know just be you know obviously. Yeah, dude. These things are fucking rare. Yeah. So and it's fat and gay. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. There you go, bro. Fat gay peak, dude. Yeah. Look he at did. all of his rainbow fucking accents. Is, isn't he great? And I and I figured you have that, dude. You just put it up somewhere in the I'm fucking gonna put, crib. I'm, I'm gonna put it in a picture frame and put it on my desk. Yeah, just put it put it on the desk. Literally when I go home tonight, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. put it in a picture frame. Because bro, it on the, desk. the only other person that could make I'm that wrap this back the up. only other person that could make that hilarious every time like your friends come over and they go, Yo, what is that? 
You could oh. be like, yo, it's Fat Gay Peak. It's you don't know the story of Fat Gay Peaks? Google Fat Gay Pikachu. Yeah, guys. Oh also, God. Google Fat Gay Pikachu and see how much it's worth. Also, Crispy said that card's going to only go up in value, too. So. Dude, Crispy. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. That Shout is so nice. Crispy. Thank you guys so much for that. Oh, yeah. man. That made my week. Who really listens good. to the show, by the way? Shout out to everybody who watches Low Prairie Podcast and keeping this fucking goddamn train so going nice. for as long as you guys have. You guys are the Dude. fucking best. Up oh, and <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I got you, so you on. Much, I got bro. Jimmy one. That this one is gonna fucking. You're gonna be super happy. I'm gonna go one. home and literally finish Spider Man. I, I have one last mission in Spider Man. Also, the thing about this is amazing. I can't like talk right now. Um, <laughs> I cannot wait to go home and show Selena my fat gay pee. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna lose her mind. Well, we talk about it on the show all the time. I'm like, yo, fuck buying boxes. I'm just gonna see if I can make this happen oh, dude, with crispy. Thank you, crispy, bro. I gotta, I gotta say thank you to crispy later. Yeah, um, he's, the he's the best, dude. Fucking shout out, crispy. Um, so I have one I have one mission left in Spider Man. Yeah, what is it? I got it two days ago. Yeah. And like I one hundred percent the games. Yeah. Like it's really bad. Like it, it like the game's awesome, but like me playing the no, game. No, but you're getting your money's worth. Getting my money's worth, getting a hundred percent, doing the thing, getting all the trophies and shit. My one big problem with um there's two problems actually. Um they were Miles Morales is Puerto Rican. Yeah, it's fuck. And I went to his. Well, house. Is he mixed or is he just full Puerto? He's Rican? full Puerto Rican. All right, yeah, I think it's yeah. Um, uh, of African descent. Yeah. Um, he's he's black and Puerto Rican. Um, I walked into his apartment, and there's a big Cuban flag on the wall. And I was like, "Why is there a Cuban flag in the body's house?" It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be a Puerto Rican flag. Why is there a Cuban flag up? So I was like, okay, they're going to have to patch this. But it made me do a deeper dive. Yeah. This is like the most New York City pandering fucking video game of all time, bro. There's a mission where you have to meet your make, mom. Make pasteles. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> they talk about pasteles. Well, like, you can like, in, the first one, you go in, the ki- in the first one, you go in the kitchen, his mom's cooking them. Right. Cool. Cute. Great. Yeah. There's a mission in the game yeah. where you have to meet your mom yeah. for a chopped cheese. Oh, my God. And does, she's, he, does he say, like, you're in it, they, too? They, they do all that shit. Oh, and he's like, she's like, mijo. She's like, mijo, meet me for a chopped cheese. <laughs> oh. And I was like, yo, oh, God. this is so cringefully racist. <laughs> That is it white dudes that make the game. Probably yeah, does. it's all white dudes, yo. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like weird. It's like uh, they another thing, by the way. We New Yorkers don't say Bing Bong. By the way, that's a fucking that's that guy started that shit in Staten Island. New Yorkers don't don't go up to a New Yorker and say Bing Bong. That's yeah, not a thing. Don't say Bing Bong. That's it's not a sound, fucking thing. Sound of this fucking suburb. Right, right. And we're from the suburbs, and we fucking know that. That's not a fucking well, thing. Dude. I've lived in New York City. For yeah, and you're yeah, and you've years. literally been there. Yeah, so it's, so it's, stop. <laughs> don't come up to me and fucking say yeah, Bing Bong. Bing Bong is not a fucking thing. It's just a fucking um, idiot made that shit up. But like, yeah, no, like just, I saw I'm like being so careful. With the TMNT pack, did it like, and you know, it's like who did it? Seth Rogen and fucking like Evan, whoever the fuck did it. And it's yeah, like, but but the thing was, is those kids. But it was me. Young, it was those, diverse. Those kids were all young yeah. and they were ad libbing that. So it's like right. at least they're 14 saying it. Yeah. You know, like I don't want a video game mission to be me meeting my mom for a fucking chopped cheese. Yeah. Let's just, not do that. They're trying to like it's cause you're I think it's because you're New Yorker too. So the immersion's like cringing you a oh, bit. Oh, so bad. Cause you're like, cause you're like, ah, I get it, but it's like, why is she is that ever even a thing that they do together? Yeah, I'm like chopped cheese. Yeah. I, yeah, let me tell you something. Mom and I would never meet for chopped cheese. And mom's in New York as fuck. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Well, she's the original. OG. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my th- <laughs> that reminds yeah. me that reminds me of uh that always sunny thing when he's like, uh, you look like Superman. Yeah. He's like, well, well, he was an original. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before that, too, though. But uh, yeah, so the game's like really pandering, like really pissing me off. And I always played my games on the hardest level. I learned that from you. Play games on the hardest diff. Um, Unless it's a game where you need to fucking actually like practice it first yeah god of some, war was like that the first Sif- god of war that game sifu is like that too because you have to have certain stances for certain blocks and it's like i don't want to fucking learn this shit. sifu's higher though that game is if you want to play a like a real closest thing to jackie chan like like grabbing guys and breaking their shit yeah, like it's shit. look up sifu s-i-f-u that game is fucking 
crazy. Where is that game that's going to come out with like the Chinese monkey fighting? Oh, it's, that's Wukong something. Yeah, like Wukong. Something Dynasty or Kong, I don't know, whatever it's called. There's a, another game that people are fucking making fun of as fuck, and it's supposed to be, it's a, like a legit company. It's called, it's the King Kong game. Ah, uh, yeah. Have you been seeing that? Yeah, the, the old graphics King Kong are, game? The really, no, it's a new one. Oh, the old King Kong And it Kong looks like shit, and pe- everyone's making fun of it. But my one thing that people are pissing me off about Spider-Man 2 is like some guy put up on Twitter how he's pissed that he can't explore the subway yet. You're fucking Spider-Man. Yeah. And you're in the suit. Yeah. The whole po- they made first off. What do we need games to do? We got, you want to fucking become a carpenter and you have to put down every piece of fucking wood. That's there's a different game for that type of style. Yeah, you don't have to do it's everything called, in one game. S- train simulator. Dude, like you're lucky you have something where you can even be Spider-Man. He wanted like this guy wanted to take the six. Like do that in real life, you fucking weirdo. I you want to know what's crazy is that I went to my old apartment and it's there. Right. So I was like, they. I think they did an okay job. I yeah, think they did just fine. You don't have to have... It's not GTA either. It's fucking... It's a Spider-Man game. Bro, it's $70. Yeah, that's... The prices are getting crazy, though, too. Video games. Dude, and I'm done with it in two days. Yeah. At least these games, I've played them 50 times each. Yeah, I'm but it's play like... them 50 more times. It's like watching your favorite movie. It never gets old. Oh, All three of them. This and is this like, is... And they're doing the second... And then three... A two's coming out after. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. So it's going to be Metal Gear 4, Phantom Pain, probably. Yeah, Phantom Pain 4 and Peace Walker. And, and, uh, Peace... Oh. Uh, yeah, Peace Walker, isn't it? Yeah, dude. Oh, yep. man, this is fucking awesome. Video then, games, uh, guys. Oh, uh, the last thing I want to do, shout out to the fucking Tiny Me Gang, TMG. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Noel Miller and fucking Cody Co. Fucking, that's, they shouted us, they've showed us love like twice. Yeah, on we have to return the love. I would love to do a collab with those guys. I would love to do They're something great. with those guys. We got to, you know what? Just make a clip out of it and send it to Noel. I mean, I yeah. got Noel's number. Like, we're cool. But I, I don't know. like being the guy that's like, yo, let's do this. And we got to respect game where it is. Like, they're up there in the podcast world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I would I love that. But uh, Noel was saying he loves the the uh, the wrestling shit. Oh, yeah. That we yeah. do, too. And fucking all the with permission nonsense and, and all that stuff. Cody but. likes our song. So shout out. Uh, if you guys yeah. don't know, Tiny Meat Gang, uh, go check out the podcast. And also the yeah, other Yeah, their set is fucking uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Also, go check out uh, Noel's, uh, Noel Miller's uh, comedy special. Yeah, I've got a special coming out soon. He's got yeah. a special uh, coming out. I want to see what's, what's the name of it. I think it actually comes out today. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't botch the name because then he'll unfollow me on instagram i don't want that stop crying his special stop crying comes out tomorrow well today october 24th so go check that out um but yeah uh speaking of checking out michael where can they check you out uh michael underscore low priori everywhere low priori mike on twitter and i got my band account back from four years ago michael low priori all one word at michael low priori so if you guys want to follow me on my and it's like it's a bit of a flex because I got like at least 18k on there. You know they took away Matt some of my followers by the way. That happens bots. And the only person that Brendan Yuri was following recently was me, but his fucking fans snitched on me and they unfollowed me on his uh, Twitter account because it's not him that controls it. God damn it! So but yeah, son but of a bitch. Shout out to the G Yuri. But uh, yeah, I finally got my bitch. Twitter account back. Good for you. For four years being banned, and I looked at the message. It's because I said to somebody, Mary, ho, ho, ho. I guess I, saw, I called somebody a ho with an E. Oh my God. And I all I had to do things. was, del- so did I. I called somebody a fucking skank, fucking slut bitch. It oh. wasn't a girl. It was like some guy or something. But Mary, ho, 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 that's cute. And it was witty. Yeah, I, I, I think it's I think it's cute. I was uh, calling somebody a slut during Christmas. Yeah, dude. Uh, you know what else is cute? Our Patreon, patreon.com. Right now, you can go see my set from... Uh, Washington DC right, is on yeah, there. Yep. Uh, and then also this Thursday, uh, Patreon exclusives coming out every Thursday. We have exclusives on our Patreon. Uh, also, uh, we do zoom calls every week. Uh, you could come and zoom with the boy and hang out and do the whole thing. So go to patreoncom slash low priority podcast, any tier sign up, whatever, five yeah, bucks, baby. you get, you get all the good stuff. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and we're excited to actually give you guys content on our Patreon. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, and then um, you guys can find me at Danny Lil Priori everywhere on the internet. Look in the link in bio for um, all stand-up dates. And tell me where I should go next on tour. I, I need to figure out where else I need to go. Thank you, Michael, so much for the gifts. This Hell yeah, great bro. to be back in studio. Hell yeah. We're healthy. Yep. 
your back's a little fucked up, but we'll talk yeah, about my, that next yeah, week. Yeah, I'm having a sciatic right now. Yeah, that's yeah. been sucking the whole episode, but you gotta, I can't, compl- I gotta fucking, you know what I mean? I gotta do something with my life, so. I agree. And uh, Jared should be back, guys. We're trying to switch to Sundays. We've been doing Mondays. Danny had a lot of work to do, so. Work which is a good travel. Yeah, 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 I've been busy, but now we're back. We're back into Billy. So, uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next week. We love you, and we are out of here. Dirty, nasty, free. Deuces, y'all. Peace. Uh-huh.